Vermont Law's Whiskey House is redefining great American whiskey with their grain to bottle approach. Joining us now to break down a few spring cocktail recipes is Garrett Turnquist, beverage director for the Bourbon Belly Hospitality Group. Thank you so much for being here. I'm so excited to be here. Thanks uh, for having me. You know, you're right in my wheelhouse. And yet, people always associate bourbons and whiskeys really for more warmer or colder weather stuff. Agreed. Um, generally, it's like a, a big boom in the fall and the winter when yeah. it's a little chilly out. Mm -hmm. Although, like right now, is like perfect whiskey, cigar, outdoor, bonfire weather. Yes. It's like warm during the day and chillier yeah, at night. Chillier mm -hmm. at night. Yeah, chillier so, at night. But um, if we want to sip during the day, you got some cocktails here that will that goes perfectly, right? 100%. What you got? So do you want to do the Manhattan first or do you want to do the more like uh, sweet and savory one? Sweet and savory, Sorry. okay. Cool. So this one is called Ginger Please. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, it's, ba it's based off, the name is based off of one of my favorite lines from uh, Ocho Cinco, the wide receiver. Oh. He said the... Uh, a really funny phrase called "child please" when yeah, you be uh -huh, angry yeah, at somebody. Uh -huh. So it's a play off of that. So That's I'm gonna have you guys. Name. Ginger, please. <laughs> Perfect. There you go. Okay. Uh, you guys wanna help me make a cocktail? Yeah. All right. Okay. I'm gonna scoop the ice this time. Okay. Um, so we're gonna start off with a decent amount of ice, okay. and then um, we're gonna add one and a half ounces of our Laws single barrel that we went out and picked in Denver, Colorado. So you turn that upside down and count to four. Okay. Oh wow, we're not even measuring. Nope. Okay. Now, one, two, three, four. You did Woo. it. You too. Okay. One, two, three, <laughs> four. This is going to be a strong cocktail. Yeah, I like it. That's my girl. Perfect. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. You didn't tell me how fast to count. For sure. Okay, and then we're going to do uh, one count of lemon, lemon juice and simple. You do okay. that one. One. Switch. Switch. One. All right. Okay. Okay. And then we want to grab a, a five to six mint leaves. Okay. Each. Do we have to spank them? Spank them. Spank them. Yep. Yeah, Don't okay. ever rip them or two, muddle them. Anytime anyone does that. Three. It, it makes them bitter. Or you want to oh, open up the oil of them. Really? Yeah. I did not know right. that. We don't okay. want to split them. So we like want... those old Bacardi commercials where they're, like, they're muddling the mojitos? Yeah. You don't do that. So I give it a big smack with that. Oh. Yep. Oh, just hit it. Like, yep. oh, hit it. And then smack and throw it in. Okay. Okay. And then we need um, about, Oh, I love these. Is it a ginger liqueur? Yes. So fun. How much? Just uh, two. One, two. <laughs> there you go. Two. Ooh, okay. Perfect. And then we're going to shake them up. Oh, shake. Now, see, that's interesting. I would have thought you stir. So anytime you're using lemon or any citrus Thank in your you. cocktails, you, uh, you want to shake it. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. And because there's mint in there, when we strain it out, we want to double strain it so none of the mint comes through into the glass. No one wants that. So the, yep, you're, you're so close. So if you smack the, yep, can I help you? Oh, you got it. Okay. Look at you. All right, so here you got your strainer. Thank you. And then we want to run it through another mesh double strainer. Oh, oh double strainer. Okay. So this way, the, none of the mint leaves comes through into the glass because you don't want to be sucking on those or having them sucking your teeth. That's a good no. point. Yeah. But although some people could use a few mint leaves. <laughs> yeah, for sure, right? Mm -hmm. Not present company excluded, of course. Excluded, of course. All right. So now oh, if you yeah. do come to Maze and Mash and try this cocktail, I promise you it will not be this tall, but it is going to be delicious. Ooh, okay. So the, we have two more steps. Okay. Okay. Tell me this is not the cutest uh, spray it bottle, is. right? It is. the cutest So we're going to spray a little uh, mezcal on top. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Just give it a little smoky, smokiness to it. There okay, you go. Okay, fun. And then grab one more mint leaf and okay. then smack that how you were doing before across your hand. Okay. And then okay. throw it right on top. So just opening up the oils so that you can get a little aroma of that. Okay. Now it's yours That's to it? drink. That's it. Oh, right. I like so, when uh, we work for these. This is fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Ooh, mine is so much bigger than yours. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you should switch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. That was great. Mmm. Mm. How'd you do? Did I, I did. Tell yeah. It's good. You did a great job. Ha ha. Ha ha. You need a, you need a job. We're hiring. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Ooh, By the time you're done with this, you can drive out to Glen Allen and, and, and mm -hmm. get a time to fuck in. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So we're doing Manhattan. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Manhattan. So uh, in whiskey, uh, the most common drink is old fashioned, maybe next to the Manhattan. Yeah. Everyone thinks it's like uh, their grandfather's drink yep. and it's become it's a huge not. resurgence, which is uh, totally fine. Um, here, you get to hold these. Thank okay, you. So these were stir. We we're stir. gonna stir these. Yes. So because we're not using citrus and this is gonna be a very booze-forward drink, we're going to be uh, stirring this cocktail. And so for people at home, because I think people get very confused between bourbon and whiskey. Yeah. So everything. It's all whiskey. It's all whiskey, right? Whiskey is the family, and then there's different rules on whether it can be uh, rye, bourbon, Scotch, Irish. So like Scotch has to be made in Scotland. Right. Rye has to be made with in the United States. Uh, it, with at least 51% rye mash. Okay. okay. The rye in the mash bill, and then bourbon has to be 51% corn. There's a bunch of other rules, but I don't know if we're gonna nerd yeah, out yeah, on that fine. right now. <laughs> we don't um, so, uh, 
So we have our, our ice in our glass. We're gonna use our single barrel again from Laws Whiskey. Do the same four count again. <laughs> okay. I can hold this spoon if you okay. want. I'm just gonna one, two, three, four. <laughs> I like the way I'm you not good at it. This one turned out really that good did. though. Yes, you did it. But if properly. you pour a short one, then I have nothing to drink when I come out. I know. <laughs> I know. All right, and then we're gonna do a quick, we're gonna do a quick pour of this. It's called a uh, uh, Cena Cena, or if it looks like it's spelled China China. Oh, this yeah. is a French based uh, Amaro. So we'll just do a quick one of that. Like a little yep, there you go. A little okay, real quick. And a quick one of this one too. This is a 4-0 four four Amaro. Okay. This would be more of a, um, like a bitter citrus herb. Mm -hmm. So what we're doing is because Laws is a, a four grain whiskey, meaning they're using corn, wheat, rye, and barley. Yep. Um, and because in Colorado, they uh, are farmed to, oh, we got yeah, some sweet removed. I wanted to ask you about that whole thing about the, um, Thank you. So what, what happens is, is grain to bottle yeah. whiskey distillery with, with their with their um, the farmers that they use and the elevation that the whiskey is uh, aging at it doesn't get a ton of like the natural vanilla and um, caramel uh -huh. flavors that you would normally get. Mm -hmm. um, so thank you. It's a little bit more grain forward when you drink it. The nice part about what we use in this Manhattan is like a riff on like a black Manhattan Rob Roy style, where um, you get to. You see a pour, yeah. Mm -hmm. You get to uh, accentuate those those grain forward flavors. I took uh, two cherries instead. You should. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, like, I like Manhattan. Ah, this is great. Uh, make sure you check out lawswhiskeyhouse.com for uh, more ideas. This really is pictures. awesome. Ooh. Okay. So this is called the Primo. Ooh, Primo. Garrett, thank you so much. That, that is so, so good. Thank you. So much. Thank you. Love